you're, you're going to exit stage left. Yes, indeed. We're going to enter Aaron awesome. Steinberg right. stage thank right. You. Yep, thank, thank you. You got that? Okay, here, come on to this side. Well, this is the game-winning goal scorer right here. And just talk to me about the play and about the game in general. Um, you know, I missed a shot earlier in the game, like a few plays earlier, and I was kind of upset because we were tied, and I was like, duh, I could have put us up. And then we called the timeout, took a deep breath, collected ourselves, and uh, I think it was Iz set a great pick. I came off of it. And Bailey saw me, and as soon as I saw her release it, I knew I was going to score the whole time. Mm. So this was a battle all game long. I'm sure that's not lost on you, obviously. Just take me through the game and take me through all the emotions that came with, you know, battling back, three-goal deficit, then the one-goal deficit, mm -hmm. they score, one, they score. It seemed like every time you would try for the equalizer, they would get the next goal mm -hmm. until the last five minutes. You know, we, we've been working hard all practice. We are all week at practice. We've been really pushing ourselves lately. Our defense has been pushing the attack. Our attack's been pushing the D. And I think that it all came out. And when we went down, no one's head dropped. No one ever was like, oh, we're not going to win. We're not going to win. Like every huddle, everything, we were like, we got this. We got this. We just took it one possession at a time, one defensive stand at a time, and we came out winning. Have you ever scored a game-winning goal like that with like five seconds or ten seconds left? Um, not, I can't say that I have, <laughs> honestly. How, how does it feel? It feels good. It feels good. Uh, you know, and it was it was really nice seeing all, everyone come running down from the field. Like from Ray, I saw Reagan come down, the defenders come down, and it's really nice being a transfer, feeling the love from everyone. Yeah, talk, talk about that because you're you're one of the elder statesmen on the mm -hmm. team, basically, uh, but local, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, from yeah. the east side, from Towson. Now you're yeah. over here on the west side. Just kind of talk about the game and what the game's meant to you. You know, it's really meant a lot, and it's really fortunate for myself to be able to do a fifth year, and you know, have another year that I can take. And my brother actually went look um, here and played here yeah, and so. watching him come here and he coaches here now. And it's really meant a lot to see how much it meant to him and now to be here and really feel what it's meant for our whole family, honestly, to be here. And I just just loving lacrosse and just enjoying every day as I have it. What, what was the locker room like after the game? Oh, we had the tunes going. We were all <laughs> dancing. The lights were off. It was so fun. Yeah. Hey, listen, it sounds good. Enjoy Florida. Thank you. Can't Congratulations wait. Cold. <laughs> on the game winner. <laughs> Tremendous you. day. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Aaron Steinberg, the game winning goal with 16 seconds left to play. You just saw, heard from Kathy Rayleigh, the head coach. What a game today. One of the greatest ever that I've ever seen on this campus. 15 14, the final. For Aaron Steinberg, for Kathy Rayleigh, I'm Gary Stein. This is GoMustangSports.tv.